Good afternoon, my friends. On my way to Zaho, here in Iraqi Kurdistan. I think it's gonna be fun to ride in this country. Very good, and you? France. Yeah. From, from France to here, yeah. Why? Why? To see, to visit. I am grazing for you. Grazing for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You see, I'm close to Mosul as well, the former capital of, uh, of ISIS. And here I am in my hotel in Zaho, in Iraqi Kurdistan. Look at that! Beautiful flag with the sun in the middle. The Kurdish flag here in Iraqi Kurdistan. And let's go. Let's go to discover Zaho on, on my first day in Iraq, in Kurdistan. So first things first, let's go to let's go to have some fish because I've seen when I arrived I've seen a, a type of restaurants that I've never seen before. They have a very strange way to cook fish here, so. Let's go try that first, and then we'll go around the around the home. And actually, something that surprised me when I arrived yesterday, uh, when I checked in the hotel, at some point one guy was speaking, and I told him, "What well, you speaking Persian?" What? He said, "No." Speaking Kurdish, I had no idea. I thought Kurdish language was related to to Turkish. It is not at all, actually. It's very, very similar. All the figures are almost the same as in Persian, so it's a very similar language to to Persian. I learned something yesterday. And here is the restaurant I'm talking about. Do you see this uh, conic thing? With a green fish, let's go down and let's see if we can have some fish. Some Kurdish fish. I think it's a river fish that they cook here. So 5,000 for the cheapest ones. Wow. I have a slap. Slap. Can I come? Can I? Okay. Oh. So you're cooking like this? Yes. Green for, uh, for eating. Okay. okay. <laughs> very nice. The very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the restaurant is here. Yes. Okay. So if I want to eat, it's here. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go in the restaurant. Actually, let's go back out to choose the fish. <laughs> This is how much is this? I I can understand like because uh, I've seen that there is like pan cesaro, shish cesaro, half cesaro, half cesar. One kilo. Ah, oh, this is per kilo. Okay. One kilo. This. One kilo. Per ah oh, okay. Oh, one kilo. Yeah. Uh, and this uh, so like. This is. Uh, well, Kilo, kilo with Malmia, kilo with Hassab. Oh, more than one yeah, kilo? Yeah. Much than this much. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, this much. Ah. They have smaller? Smaller, no. Smaller, no. Ah. So this is the. Uh, uh, the. Two. Ah, for two people, ah, yeah. For two, for two, 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 two people, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, because it's one kilo, one point eight. Ah, yeah. Ah. Oh. For two. For two people, all right. Two yeah, because this is for me, ah, it's, nah, it's nah, big, nah, yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so you don't have smaller? Smaller. Uh, mm. Yes, one minute. Yeah. My brother. This is? One kilo and a half. 18,000. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, let's go for one kilo and a half of fish. One kilo? One kilo, yeah, yeah, I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is the smallest. Ah, the smallest, ah. Smallest, ah. yeah. This is big. big. This is the ah, biggest, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, I'll get, I'll get this one, yeah. This is? Yeah. Okay, okay. 18,000, I think, yeah. Oh. Okay, come on. Okay. 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 Very nice. So I, I go to sit. Okay. <laughs> so this is gonna be a fish uh, orgy, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna have one kilo and a half of fish, and it's eighteen thousand dinar. So basically, it's um, twelve euros, something like that. Wow, that's uh, my most expensive meal in a very long time. Look at all the side dishes they give me. Some salad, some uh, orange, I guess. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. It's quite sour orange. Some pickle, olives, salad. The salad looks uh, very much like, like what you have in Turkey, basically. Always this uh, cauliflower, kind of... Um, Pickled cauliflower, salad and tomato. Spice. <laughs> and that's the fish. Wow. Small bones. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So careful. Okay. <laughs> so he's telling me there are small bones. So I have to be careful. <laughs> Very nice. Look at this fish. Fantastic. Oh, oh it's hot. Mm, very good. It's going to take me one hour to eat that. Mm, oh, it's so well grilled. Fantastic. Look at that. Mm. Very fat. Mm. <laughs> Look at those big bones. I guess I need to use the lemon. The orange. Um, it's funny because it's a lemon that is almost orange. But when you taste it, it's obviously lemon. Mm. Oh, so good. <laughs> Look at this big piece of fish. Mm. 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 <laughs> what a bone. I'm almost full already, I had only half of the fish. <laughs> All the crispy grilled part is so good. Look at that. Mm. Mm. So all this, actually all the sneaky bones are mostly on the, on the upper part. This part is full of bones. This one is just the big bones of the, the ribs. But uh, once you, you remove the ribs, it's, there is nothing left. It's just the, the upper part, you have to be very careful. It's really full of, of small bones. Popula, I almost dropped you guys. So there are still a few fishes getting cooked. I, I guess waiting for customers. So after the, it was quite, it was quite uh, sporty to, to eat all this, uh, all this fish. Anyway, now let's go. Let's go to the bazaar, let's go to see how is Zaho? Phone shops next to cheese shops. It smells quite good, it looks very salty cheese. <laughs> I tried to overtake but it was uh, not successful. Let's go through the fruit. There is a small fruit bazaar here. 
Look at that. Oh, that's where they do all the pickles. Look at all the fruits here. Very, very beautiful small bazaar. And at the end they have a fish, a fish bazaar as well. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sorry, it looks like a lot of uh, river fish, fish from rivers. <laughs> so big. <laughs> France. France. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Super there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, in Turkey, everybody was uh, knew what <laughs> that the camera was a camera, but here it seems that uh, some people don't know it. Look at that. Beautiful shop. Look. Beautiful, extravagant designs. People love gold in the Middle East. The cheese shops behind us. And let's go to the main bazaar. And cheese. Huh? W what is it? What? For uh, for washing? No. No. Oh, oh for uh, for eat? Hey. No, 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 no. no for washing. Oh, for, for washing. Ah, yeah. Washing. For the. Uh, yes. For, for this? No, no. For also for dish, yeah. for the plate. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Hmm? okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Understand. Can I? Oh yeah. Yeah, for washing dishes, I guess, yeah. Okay. Yes. It's <laughs> fast, yeah. Hello. Chawan... Chawan Iboshi? Good. I know some words of Kurdish. That's good. <laughs> the guy seemed very happy that I could uh, ask him, how are you? I just said, how are you? Look at this beautiful shop. Ah. All the shops for the cotton things. Wow, look at that. Huh? Come, come in. Come, come in. <laughs> it's beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Eh? <laughs> so he's happy that I film inside his shop. Look at that. It's like a fairy tale. Okay, it's fast, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fast. France. Oh, France. Yeah. Okay, it's fast. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's funny because just when I say my nationality, basically, you can see it. It is the deal of geopolitics basically because the reaction depends a lot on the country where I am. Like here, Kurdish people like very much uh, France. Well, they say, oh, good, good, good. While uh, in other places before, uh, uh, it was not always the case, and you can see that uh, what uh, government, my government does, is not appreciated everywhere. <laughs> Which I can understand, of course. <laughs> it's just geopolitics. Wow, beautiful soap shop. And another interesting thing is like um, 
Oh, I need to buy um, nuts. I'll go back to buy nuts. Um, yeah, the other, other interesting thing I wanted to tell you is yesterday when I... Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, yesterday when I crossed the border, it was uh, very interesting. Basically, nobody was... Uh, because basically I'm filming this video uh, like three days, three or four days after um, the Russian invasion started in Ukraine. And uh, basically at the border, nobody, hello, <laughs> nobody believed me. When I was saying I'm French, they were saying no. They were, they were all telling me, no, you're Ukrainian or you are Russian. Or, are you Ukrainian or Russian? I don't know why. I, I don't know if they were thinking like I was running away from Ukraine somehow. Or, I don't know how I could do that with a... Uh, with the bicycle, though, it's a bit far. But still, everybody was thinking, I'm or, or Ukrainian or Russian. I had to show my passport to many people because they would just not believe me when I would say, no, I'm not, I'm neither of those. So that was my anecdote about the border crossing yesterday. Oh. Well, oh, this is too sweet, yeah. Boho. Yeah, I know, it's okay, no, no, no. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nachal, mm. nachal. Dates, dates. Uh, mm. Dates, yeah. Okay, spasi. <laughs> so, uh, can I buy some nuts? Uh, this is mix. Okay, this. Hopla. <laughs> um, no. no. Right, kilo. Kilo, yeah. Dinar, hero. Yeah, dinar, hazar. Ah, hazar. Hello. Hero, hazar. Hazar, okay. So this one is ten thousand, and this one is thirteen thousand. Uh, uh, Okay. Oh, okay. So, come on. Ah, okay. No, I, I want this. Uh, I don't remember how you say 100 in Persian. Um, do. Do. Sef, sef, gram? Kilo? Chan, chan, hazar, chan, hazar. Chan, hazar. Ah, uh, chan, hazar, okay. <laughs> Doni Hazar? Doni Hazar? Doni Hazar? I think that's two and a half, I'm not sure. Do and a half, eh? Okay. <laughs> I think I got it right. And this is what? This is halva? Yeah, hello. Hello, okay. No, but yeah, it's very sweet, yeah. yeah. Shesh. Shesh Hazar, oh, okay. Hava. Hash. Oh, this one, Hash Hazar, okay. So this is 8,000 and this is 6,000, but it's way too sweet. No, I, I'll get. Uh, Donif, eh? Uh, Donif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have. Tom. Spas. Okay. Okay. Spas. Oh, I remember. Actually, I was thinking we we're gonna finish the video soon, but uh, no, I need to go to show you a bridge. And there is a guy cooking cord, and I found another bazaar. Bazaar this way. So let's let's just uh, go through the bazaar. Hi, 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 hi. You can see the bridge is the, the big attraction of the city because you have all the fancy have the fancy baklava restaurant here. Here you have the ice cream restaurant. Slav <laughs> Hello. Wow, beautiful. Oh it's this way the bridge. Okay. Slav. 
Oh, look at that. They're uh, cooking, uh, well, roasting um, sunflower seeds. And here is the beautiful bridge. And the Kurds here finally have a country. Well, it's almost a country. It's an autonomous region, I think. Yeah, it's an autonomous region of Iraq. But uh, they have their own army, they have their own, they're called the Peshmerga. They have their own government. So basically, it's still inside Iraq, but it's almost like a country. I don't know, it looks like an Ottoman bridge to me. I have no idea if it's correct or not. Uh, if someone knows from what's this bridge, I don't know. I did not read about it, I don't have internet with me. The river, actually, what makes it very nice is this uh, kind of uh, canyon. There's the restaurant on the other side. Yeah, and I was saying the Kurds almost uh, have a, a country here. Yeah, it's because there are a lot of people. There are a lot of Kurds, ethnically people who are, there are a lot of Kurds. You have Kurd, Kurdish people in Syria, you have Kurdish people a lot in a big part of Eastern Turkey is a full, is a, is predominantly Kurdish people. Uh, you have this region, all the north of Iraq. And, uh, and there is a, a small part in Iran also, which is, uh, which is Kurdish. And so they, and they didn't have a country until, uh, until the Saddam Hussein fell. Yeah, until the end of Saddam Hussein, and then they created this, uh, this autonomous region, which is almost like a country because they have their own army with the Peshmerga, and, uh, and they have their own government. It's just they don't have their own money, they use uh, Iraqi money. It's very surprising because uh, I really thought that their language was linked to Turkish, but actually it's, uh, it's related to, uh, to Persian. So I guess it looks like they are here since a very long time. And, uh, and another surprising thing, thing for me about, uh, about Kurdish people is when I was in Syria, you know, the, um, the Crusaders' castle, uh, Krak des Chevaliers, was built on top of a, a Kurdish fortress. And another su surprising thing is that the very famous uh, Salah ad -Din, who was uh, basically the main fighter against the Crusaders, he, he, he re basically he reconquered all the coasts of... Uh, from, from Gaza all the way to, to northern Syria. He did not reconquer uh, Krak des Chevaliers, but he reconquered all the coasts from the Crusaders. And, uh, and he was a Kurd. So it's not something known, but probably without uh, Salah ad without the Kurdish people, uh, it's possible that uh, a big part of, uh, of the Levant would, be, would have become uh, Christian again. But uh, the Kurds, Salah ad-Din, prevented that too from happening.